As long as you're not a, a, a jailbreak or wanted by Interpol, basically, uh, you can get a TRP in Ukraine. Now, let me ask you, Kuntanit, what percent, you know, of your clients get approval? You know, like, is there a chance of being declined? Yeah, Joe, I had almost 100% of successful stories in this area. I remember only one case through hundreds uh, that it was bad, but only because clients put the lie in his application. So my first recommendation to you, please don't put lie in your application. Wow, only one in hundreds that, uh, that was declined. Yeah. Yes, one and, in and, hundreds. And, and be, because the client lied. So, and this is an important point, guys, uh, that uh, almost anybody can get a TRP a residency in Ukraine. I think we're going to get into that a little bit. But um, if you were a convicted felon, even in the past, it's, all, it's okay if you served your time. As long as you're not a, a, a jailbreak or wanted by Interpol, basically, uh, you can get a TRP in Ukraine. Uh, yeah, it's true. Practically uh, everybody get a temporary resin permit. The most popular way uh, getting off uh, resin permit is through the employment. So you need to set up uh, your company where you will be the uh, director and uh, then you have the opportunity to get a temporary resident permit for three years. So this is the main uh, difference between others uh, ways because it allows you to get a uh, resident permit uh, for three years. Yeah, that's a, that's a bonus. You get three-year TRP as, as opposed to a one-year TRP. Yeah. And it, it's, it's really, guys, it's really just an administrative process. Uh, you set up a company and you hire yourself, basically. The rest are administrative, you know, steps. And Constantine does all the work for you. Uh, I'm, I mean, there's very little you have to do. So we'll go through the seven-step process, step-by-step, step, and give you all the details uh, that you will have to go through with uh, Constantine when you're setting up your TRP by incorporating your own Ukrainian company. The lawyer that set it up for me, he didn't tell me a number of these things and I found myself in Warsaw missing documents that I need to be in Ukraine for. What a huge hassle that was, expensive hassle. So very important you work with somebody that's really thorough and doesn't miss steps in this process. Otherwise, uh, it can be expensive for you.